Hello, I'm Chris Mielewski from Dental Photomaster and I am today very excited because with me I have my friend Carlos Ayala Paz and you know that he's a master of dental photography. Carlos, I'm really very happy that we are together and I immediately start. I heard that you prepared the book, a book about dental photography. Tell me more. Yes, uh, I prepared a, a very special book uh, with, a, you know, it's, a, it's like a, in one face is a photo and the other face is a, a sketch. You make it by yourself? But yes. Fantastic, so it, it adds additional value, but tell me more, what is inside? What is inside? What is in this book? Because uh, everyone knows your pictures from the Facebook, from courses, and you, you, you have amazing quality and, and this kind of specific style. Mm -hmm. So in, in this drawing, I put the, the position of the, of the light, the type of modifier, the power of flashes, the setting of my camera. So it's a very personal uh, project for, with a very personal uh, sketch. So. I, I, I like very much your idea and I'm sure that a lot of people would like to get this book because as I hear from you, it is like prescription to get exactly the same type of pictures which you present. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. But the intention of, of this book is, is not, is not uh, make the same uh, picture. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I think uh, the, uh, with, with these uh, uh, drawings, People understand how the light and the equi equipment interact okay. for make uh, no, no, not the same picture, but different or, or a lot of different pictures. So you teach actually people how to work with the light in photography. Mm -hmm. So this is your intention. Yes. Okay. So, but uh, in the same moment, if they will buy your book at the end, they will learn how to take similar pictures as you present, I assume. Yes. And what kind of, what type of pictures you have in this book? So uh, I start with, uh, with the pictures of flashes with modifiers mm -hmm. uh, for people uh, watch how the light is spread okay, so with different uh, modifiers. So then uh, I, I have uh, the setups with the uh, interaction of the light of, uh, with the setup in uh, the, the, uh, the different uh, scenarios. For example, for portrait, mm -hmm. uh, for, for photograph uh, lips, uh, intraoral, uh, photograph, uh, some of the product photography for lab, for laboratory. It's, 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 it's very interesting because a lot of people actually, uh, they, they see your beautiful pictures and they are wondering how, how your light was positioned. Mm -hmm. But what about setups? Because I, I, I heard that it's also very important and people would like to know exactly not only the equipment, but what kind of power of flashes do you use, TTL or manual, what kind of aperture. Do you also include this information? Yes, I include the drawings, mm -hmm. uh, the position of the light and the modifiers. And in the settings, my settings of my camera and the setting of, of the flash. Also the, the equipment uh, that I employ in, in this particular uh, image, in, in every image. This is, this is great. Immediately when you will publish, I want to have my copy <laughs> with your personal signature because uh, it's, uh, I, other than, otherwise I will, I will come directly to, to your country and, and I will ask you and beg you for your signature. Okay, you have. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> I'm, I'm really very happy. But I heard as well that uh, you prepare some book um, or, or material uh, about morphology of the teeth. Yes, and, and I worked this project uh, for uh, maybe for uh, one year because it's very, uh, it's very hard to obtain the, the only one image. Uh, it's like an atlas of uh, human dental morphology with natural uh, teeth. But from where, how, how you do it? Do you take these pictures in the mouth of the patient or you just take the pictures of the extracted teeth? How, how, how you do it? It's uh, extracted and in the mouth. Hmm, interesting. So uh, this book is, uh, is uh, only for enamel. Uh, surface of enamel, uh, like in morphology, 
yes, micro tricks to uh, form, and optical effects. So it's the interaction of the light in the enamel for people uh, can see uh, opalescence, mm -hmm. uh, iridescence in the natural, so in the tip in, in the mount, and morphology for only for surface, micro surface, in a special technique for micro photography in extractive. But how, how this, because uh, this special technique, uh, does it require some special equipment or some special lenses? Um, how, how actually you, you take these uh, stunning, amazing pictures? Because this high, high magnification, I think you need something special for it. Just, just mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more. Okay, uh, I use a special technique called uh, focus stacking. It's uh, employed in uh, insect photography. Yes. Okay, with a high magnification lens, uh, I, I use uh, a 35 millimeters uh, angular lens on reverse, couple on reverse. And um, in some cases, I use uh, this lens on reverse uh, plus an extension. Okay, and what kind of extension do you use for these techniques? Uh, a regular extension, uh, maybe. Uh, 50 millimeters. Okay. So uh, I can uh, I give um, maybe from 3x for from uh, 5x of magnification. Oh, three times magnification. Five times. It means five to one. Am I yes, correct? Yes, five to one. Yes. It's it's huge so, because I heard that the depth of field is like uh, 0.1 millimeter or uh -huh. less. Yes. And actually, uh, in some cases, I employ. Uh, Objective from microscope, oh, microscope, interesting. microscope objective. So, uh, and that, this is because because uh, I employ this uh, focus stacking because uh, I have a very thin uh, deep of field. Mm -hmm. So I need to to make like a scan of the surface. And uh, for example, uh, at, at 3x, I may I need uh, to to take uh, 80. Uh, image 80 photos yes with my camera my camera is in, in the Pretty electronic special, yeah mm -hmm, electronic rail yeah. so my camera advance and take a photo advance 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 and take a photo so uh, it's like a scan and then uh, I, I take this this image uh, to a special software mm -hmm. for make the the uh, the stack okay okay so uh, each image, uh, each photograph, or the final result is uh, made from uh, 80 images. A lot. A lot, yes. But so how much time does it take you to just, because to take these shots is one story, but later on to uh, combine the, all, the, all, the, all these photos just, just to stack them, yes. it takes also time. Yes. So, how much time actually, if you would like to take one picture, such a picture, if I, for instance, me, mm -hmm. if I would like to take such a picture, how much time I should spend? Is it one hour, one day, or a few weeks? How is it? Yeah, maybe one hour, yes. For, for a stack, it's like a, the procedure, a completed procedure is like a, a 20 minutes. Yes. But then, then you need to, to stack the mesh and you need the processing the mesh. Okay. Because uh, in high magnification, you you can see a lot of, uh, of dust okay. in, the, in the surface. So I need to clean this dust without uh, modifying the picture. The form, the picture. Yeah. Yeah. So when when I I use a microscope lens, it's more difficult because the uh, microscope lens they don't have a diaphragm. <laughs> So the, the deep of field is more thin. Okay, it's even more shallow. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so uh, I need uh, almost uh, 300 uh, images for one. For one single picture. So it takes even more time. Yes, more time. But you know what? I'm really very happy because we talk about it. But I saw these pictures already, how Carlos is doing this. And you know what? 
We recorded all these pictures and we have all of these materials included as well in our Dental Photo Master website, this online dental photo training platform. But if you would like to learn all of these things personally from Carlos, I really recommend you to take part in his courses. He's giving courses worldwide and he's really master in dental photography. Dentalphotomaster.com